positively jacks. More than 6,000 people ran or walked this weekend as part of the 17th annual Donna Marathon Weekend. The weekend event wrapped up at Jacksonville Beach Day with a marathon and half marathon. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar has the story of a woman using her breast cancer diagnosis to inspire others. <laughs> There is a lot of symbolism to Mary Latner crossing this finish line. Latner, the survivor champion for the Donna Marathon and Half Marathon, this champion is eyeing crossing the finish line of her own cancer battle. I was a runner before. It was important to me to, to get this back, but it's not about me. It's about everybody who came before me and everybody who will come after me and everybody who's not as lucky and as fortunate as me. January 3rd, 2023. A day Latner will never forget. Diagnosed with breast cancer. Found it through an ultrasound and a biopsy, but, but initially I felt it myself. What came next? More than a year of extensive treatment and surgeries. So after my surgeries, I probably I had about 12 rounds of chemotherapy, 15 rounds of radiation, and then I have my last infusion. Uh but that's why you see more than almost 6,100 runners and walkers a part of Donna Marathon Weekend, encouraging people like Mary Latner to hold on to hope. This event was started by Jacksonville Mayor Donna Deegan 17 years ago after three different stints with cancer herself. But to be cancer free here 17 years later uh, is really nothing short of a miracle. Uh, I think every year that we can celebrate survivorship is a big one, you know. Survivors like Latner. She says her fight does not end, though, even after her active treatment possibly ends this March. It's a lifelong journey. You're, you're, you'll be monitoring for the rest of your life. Um, the, the, the fight doesn't end when you grow your hair back or when you're done with your, your, your active treatment. Um, it's something that stays with you for the rest of your life. The goal this year is to raise $250,000, and all that money will go toward people like Mary, who are battling cancer, as well as to research to help find a cure and continue pushing people to thrive. What would you say to others who may be in a similar situation that you're in, uh, who might not be as optimistic as you are? Um, in my, on my playlist, I had Whitney Houston's song, Step by Step, and um, don't look at the entire staircase. Take it one, that staircase is long. It is a long hill to climb for some longer than others. I was very fortunate with my prognosis and my treatment plan. Others have a much longer journey. Some have a lifelong journey. Um, take it step by step. Day by day, and to never lose hope. No matter the outcome, they have already won. I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.